you know God would rather have you doubt his power than doubt his love the Bible never says God is power the Bible says God is love God loves people God loves those who commit sin God loves the sick God loves the hurting and one time God had a prophet named Jonah who didn't understand how much God loves people and he sent Jonah to go and preach to this whole city called Nineveh and Jonah preached to the whole city it wasn't a good news he preached he just literally just threatened them he said in 40 days this whole city is going to be destroyed and Jonah was kind of happy preaching that kind of message because he didn't like those people and after he's done speaking with them Jonah went and rented a little condo right on above above the little house and he wanted to see how the city will be destroyed if Jonah would have been today he would have had a snapchat ready you know when God is going to wipe away the whole city and then 40 days passed nothing happened and Jonah was mad at God because Jonah wasn't happy with the fact that God didn't destroy the sinners because they deserve to be destroyed and God came to Jonah and said Jonah why are you so upset that I forgive people why are you so upset that I love people so much and God teaches Jonah a lesson he lets a bush close to Jonah grow up really fast in one day and it provides shade and Jonah got so happy because the bush provided shade and the next day God used a worm to strike the bush at the root and the bush quickly dried up and Jonah de developed a problem with his head because the sun was very hot and he developed a headache and Jonah was so mad that the bush died he was irritated the Bible says he was op like obsessed angry mad and God came to him and says Jonah isn't that interesting 130 something people uh, thousands of people in the city you were so indifferent to them dying and then poor tree just died and you're so emotional about it word compassion means to suffer with you know I had an interesting incident yesterday <laughs> where God taught me a lesson <laughs> But I, I was moving a truck from uh, a wood from my father's house and uh, my, my family, they have a beast, a uh, German Shepherd, a dog. She's uh, less than a year old. And I took that dog. I love the dog. The dog is a good dog. Stupid, but good. I put the dog in the back of the trunk and I didn't want the dog to jump out. So I put a leash on the dog and I attached it. So it will run around in the back while I go home. Um, a small little street 30 25 miles per hour but I didn't want the dog to jump out I was made everything possible so that the dog will stay there it will be for the dog's best safety and future to stay within those places and the dog had fun it was raining and he was licking the rain and jumping around trying to get inside of the truck and I was watching my I was watching her every single second until right by turning to the to the parents house the dogs uh, jump out while I'm driving 25 miles per hour and there's a small leash so she literally almost kills herself by jumping out and I slammed on the brake and I jump out you know and it's just interesting because the first thought in my mind didn't go you're so stupid the first thought in my mind is that are you okay and I'm thinking you know on the back I was reflecting this morning and yesterday I'm like that's a poor dog but I was so concerned I didn't stand there and punish her for jumping out I didn't stand and say no I told you no my heart was broken for a dog and I put the dog back into the thing we came there you know I was checking her if she's okay told mom the whole family we started this salvation operation everybody started bringing you know food and and things right away the rules you know don't let the dog inside of the house those rules went out the window let the dog inside of the house you know everybody put the blanket everybody crying everybody talking to the dog everybody's giving her attention and I'm thinking in the back of my mind and my brother Andre is mad everybody's upset everybody's sad and I'm thinking it's just the dog imagine that's how God feels about people God put perimeters of his word to keep us safe not to hurt us God put a leash of our consciousness to hold us back and God always watched us so that we stay and we still jumped out we hurt ourselves but God doesn't come to punish us the first reaction of God when man committed sin is how to save them, heal them and restore them. If your view of God is He's out to get you, He's out to punish you, I want to tell you something. You treat your dog better than that. God is better than you. He loves people. 
he has a weakness and God's weakness is not chocolate shoes purses God's weakness is people we're gonna pray right now for that which God cares about I want us to right now in your heart I want you to find compassion for those people who are sinning those people who are hurting those people who the world has been so enticing and they decided to jump out from the church jump out from God's principles and say you know what hey jump out from their marriage jump out from the righteousness jump out and they quickly got hurt yes they got the thrill of the jump which lasted two and a half seconds and then the pain which lasts 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 years and sometimes passes on to our next generation but God looks at that today and God is hurting God has a compassion means suffers with you know I left the parents house right away and I was in my own house drinking tea but I was still suffering and it wasn't because I met my brother made my brother mad I can live with that it was because I, I hurt the dog and I, I didn't hurt the dog the dog hurt himself and I was suffering till this morning I asked Lamita how is the dog doing why because I have compassion now the bad part will be if I will have a compassion on the animal but I don't have a compassion on the person that is made in the image and likeness of God.